belly shown. Welcome back to you. All right. Hi. I'm back. I'll show my trick. That's not the trick. You don't have the right pants on. I do too. Sit, stand. That hurts. Why? <laughs> Complete trust. Uh, hello, hello, hello. I am here to show you one, two, three, four things. Four things. That's all. Okay. So jumping right in. And says I'll jump. <laughs> she turned. So no, jump right in. Like like shirt. Shirt belly. Um, so we get our standard toolkit. We have two of these. So do you know what we're gonna be looking at? You should by now, because I've shown you plenty of those. There are rhinestones and special stones. Get rid of that bag and keep this bag. It's this little bit thicker or wider, I mean. Alright, so let's take a look at our drills. So, first off, there are the blue pearls. Forgive the terrible nails, because you know, I only have like a week and a half, two weeks where I have nice nails, and then it's like six weeks before I get new ones again. A mess. This one, I was hanging curtains in my room and literally hammered my finger. So, of course, thank God I had my nails on because all it did was shatter. What? All it did was shatter the acrylic. Um, so, it's just a little bit sore, but I have the tiniest little blood blister I have ever seen. Isn't that ridiculous? It's so crazy. All right, anyway, so you have the blue pearls. You have two shades of yellow. Beautiful AB green drills. Purple and teal and blue. Crystal, gray, apricot, orange. Gold, we'll just go with gold because that's like a honey color almost. And then we have teeny tiny red, baby teardrops, crystal, marquee, they're not baby. We have our purple teardrops, I love those. And then we have regular pearls. So that is everything that goes on our adorable bookmarks that I'm about to show you. Are you ready? Look at them. <laughs> Are they the cutest or what? Look at them. Look, we got a little little gnome stack. So cute. And then we got a little dude with his little flower. I love it. It's so, so cute. So cute. So there are our bookmarks. Oh, that is one. The next thing, we'll just do this one because I'm I'm a little. It's not what I thought it was going. Oops, sorry. It's not what I thought it was going to be. I mean, I knew what it know what it is, but I thought it would be a little bit different than this. So this is um, another type of drill storage. So you can use this for small diamond paintings for um, to kit your paintings up. Or you can use this if you have um, a small amount to store, I guess. But it is a cute little portfolio type item. It has a little Velcro strap. It has, it's a beautiful color of purple. I love this color. It comes with little baby labels that we're all used to with all the other storage solutions. It also comes with some little bags, which I'm assuming it comes with enough bags for what's in here, which is 18. So this is what you get. I thought it would be more like a, like a baseball card thing. So it's a little 
I'm not real sure. So you can only put 18 colors in here. I mean, if they're not huge amounts, you might be able to put two baggies in there, but I wouldn't stretch it too much because it's just sewn directly onto the felt. This is um, like a heavy duty felt. And this isn't real, real heavy milled plastic, so it probably would tear pretty easily. But if you have some uh, small paintings or if you have specific drills you want to um, save, maybe you have a painting that has got quite a few popping drills or something you want to say, I don't know, there are so many options. Whatever you can think of, that's what this is for. How's that sound? <laughs> So that is that. It's adorable. It really is cute. But like I said, I thought it would be more of along the lines of like a baseball card storage, but I don't know why I was thinking that because I mean, they show a picture on the website, but I just, I thought it was more than this. You know what I mean? But it still will come in handy, especially if you're traveling, you can roll up your canvas and put it in here you know, like this, and then you can carry your drills and your canvas all in here. So it would work. I mean, it's definitely usable. Okay, next of all, we have another toolkit. We have a ball chain and a large lobster clasp. We have more rhinestones and fancy drills. I need to get a drink. <coughs> I've been, <coughs> I've been um, going back and forth from the garage, working on finishing up. I had a whole like huge pile of resin pieces that needed to be sanded and painted and you know finalized. So I've been trying to get them done today, but I can only stay outside so long because there's there's so much dust. When I'm, plus my uh, Dremel tool like gets too hot and has to rest. <laughs> All right, so here is like a very light aqua teardrops, two sizes of the beautiful bright blue. We have some, oops, sorry, my dryer's done. We have some big black drills here. Oh, we got ABs, sparklers. Then we have teal or turquoise. I think that's teal. And then there are two more shades of blue. And then last but not least is our regular crystal. So there you have that. Are you ready to see what it, they go on? This is really cool. I'm definitely not putting these away, right? But that's okay. So we're gonna put these in the big bag with this and look. Except you can't see it because wait, there we go. Let's come over here. So it is a little blue butterfly. <coughs> butterfly. I really think I have dust in my throat. <laughs> That's not good. Little butterfly and I love these, it's so pretty. So this is a beautiful project. I'd love to for Emmy to put it on her backpack for school, but I don't think she will. It's fun, so fun, I like it. Okay, so that's three. Have you been keeping count? Okay, no baggies in those. So next we got the ultimate toolkit with this painting, which I feel very, very special. Oh, sorry. Oh, excuse me. So there are little tweezers. There is a clear crystal or clear sparkly pin with a blue gripper and a four placer. It comes with a little white tray a nice big piece of wax, which is the a little bit smaller than if you had four individual squares. That's about what this in, uh, encompasses, whatever you want to say. And then this, I think this is a nine or a ten. Can't tell. 
Oh, it doesn't have the weird, doesn't have the, um, the number on it. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it's a 10 because this one, I'm pretty sure it is a six, but of course now I can't see the number on that either. No, that's a six. That's a 10. So this is a 10. Anyway. Ow! Stab myself. What about erasers? Oh yeah. We're uh, making a list of what we forgot for, well, Forgot and misplaced because I put a brand new pack of erasers that go on the top of a pencil. We bought them. Both of us remember me paying for them. I don't have any idea where I put them. No clue. Okay. Actually, you know what? I don't think I want to do this because... Although I am super, super stoked that they are already in zip top bags. They are pretty messy in there, but oh well, right? So on the little sticker, first of all, we have our sticker here that tells us the item number and the size of the painting, which is a 30 by 40, of course. And then on the drills, you have the number of the order that it's in on the canvas and the DMC number. This, I'm pretty sure, is the weight or the count of the drills that you need. And as you can see, we have square. Why does it look like there's square and round in there? That's what made me stop because I was like, if you look at this bag, is it just me? Or does it look like there's round ones in there too? I don't know. But anyway, they are square drills. They're in their own zip top bags, so they're all ready to go. There are a total of 30 colors. DMC numbers are also on the canvas. So yeah, that is the quantity. So the, the third number, so the first one is what number it is on your canvas. The second one is the DMC number. And then the third one is the quantity of drills for this canvas. So this, let me make sure I'm showing it to you right side up. Okay, here she is. So we have Lisa Frank stylized bees. And I love them. I love her rainbow stripes and her rainbow legs. It is just so cute. I'm... I had to look at the Trapper Keepers again this year because I really want one. I don't need it. I don't know what I'll put in it. But um, I'm waiting for them to have a Lisa Frank that I can get a hold of. I know last year they had them, but they were like gone immediately. So um, yeah, but they still don't, they didn't have any great ones this year. So I'm waiting. I'm holding out. So here is the thumbnail. You can see a little bit better. So she's got some bee, or I should say he. He's got some bee friends back here, and then there. <clears throat> Lord have mercy, I gotta get some water. <gasps> all right, so that's all I have for you today. Make sure you check out the link in the description box. The sale is still going on on Etsy. Don't know when it's going to stop. So if you want something and you want to save a little bit of money, go get it now. And remember, just about any listing that I have on Etsy, I can personalize. There are a few things where I don't have um, the mold anymore or like I wore out the mold. So that I would either have to repurchase. But anyway, go check out Etsy. There's lots of new stuff on there. If you haven't been there in a little while, I did add a couple of new things today. The new release papers are on there and I think that's it. So make sure you go check out the links in the description box. If you want what I showed you today, they will all be listed individually down below. Make sure you come see us on Facebook. Join us, chit chat, show us what you're working on. I love seeing your paintings. So um, if you're on Facebook, 
make sure you share away, come in, start a conversation, whatever you want to do in the group. The only thing I ask is that you keep it diamond painting related, if possible. And I think that's it. I'll see you real soon. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for putting up with my goofiness. I love you.